today. Intel revealed their 13th gen CPUs, but there's something sad. The ARC A770 costs what? Intel released the world's first, and they accidentally revealed a monster. Welcome everyone to Gamer Mail. First up for today, Intel officially held their innovation event, where they announced a slew of new products, mistakenly revealed others, and more. Starting things off, they revealed their 13th gen Raptor Lake CPUs. And let's just say, if you've been following this channel, you pretty much already know everything about it, minus one thing. But before I get to that, let's check it out. Starting things off, Intel claims a very impressive single-threaded boost of 15% and a multi-threaded boost of 41%. Those seem to come from a mixture of clock, core, and cache increases. Intel also claims some pretty wild performance numbers, but there are some issues here which I'll get to in a second. When it comes to the actual specs, Intel announced their 14-core 20-thread 13,600K all the way up to their 24-core 32-thread 13,900K, so they all got a fairly nice boost in core count as well as clocks, with the 13900K getting a very impressive 5.8 GHz boost. Unfortunately, this also came with a very big jump in power draw. The i5 models now get up to 181 watts, with the i7 and i9 parts getting a whopping 253 watts. Next we have price, which is one of the things we didn't have before. And as you can see, Intel did go up a little bit, but not by much, especially given the performance boost. With that said, video cards actually found listings of the CPUs on Newegg, and they're much higher. The reason could be that they're just placeholder information, but given they're still up, it may not be. So it could just be that these are the box prices. Remember that Intel only shows the price for those who buy a thousand plus CPUs. This isn't really the MSRP or anything like that, so the pricing can be a bit higher for the consumer. Though I will say Intel does still support DDR4, so that's a plus. We'll really just have to wait and see if that is the final price. Now moving back to performance, Intel claims a pretty big boost, though it's against AMD's last gen, but I get it. Ryzen 7000 just came out, but that's not the real issue. As Linus Tech Tips pointed out, Intel used some pretty terrible RAM on these Ryzen CPUs, so I definitely suggest waiting for third-party reviews, to which these are set for release on October 20th, so you won't have to wait too long. And the news from the event doesn't stop there. But first, if helicopters, ships, airplanes, and even tanks all together in an epic battle sounds as awesome to you as it did to me, then you've got to check out this video's sponsor, War Thunder, the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever. I'm talking they have over 2,000 vehicles spanning across over 100 years, each with incredible detail, down to the individual components. Plus, they have a really deep customization system for endless possibilities. And get this, instead of the usual HP, vehicles take damage to the actual components and crew, which has got to be my favorite part. I mean, War Thunder simply has it all. So don't wait and pick up War Thunder today on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation. And when you visit my link in the description, you'll get a bonus pack for free. I'm talking multiple premium vehicles, boosters, and more. Check that out today. Okay, back to the news. Intel finally announced their flagship desktop ARC GPU the ARC A770. Of course, we've been seeing this for a little while now, but it's actually here. Unfortunately, Intel didn't go over their A750 or A580, but Ryan Shrout did confirm we'll hear more on the A750 later this week. One thing they did show was a comparison between the A750 and A770 limited edition GPUs. When it comes to the release of the A770, Intel gave us a date of October 12th, so not too far off and the pricing comes in at $329, so right at the RTX 3060. Of course, the A770 is supposed to beat the 3060, and Intel claimed that it can get 65% better peak performance versus the competition in ray tracing. Now, that's a very specific claim, but it's not a bad number, given they are talking about the 3060. Really, the only issue I have with them coming in at the same price is that the 3060 has been out for quite a while now, and with the next-gen 4060 likely coming before long, it's tough to justify it at that price. Of course, if Intel can actually sell it for that while beating the 3060 in most games, it could have a winner on its hands. Time, as always, will tell. 
Next up, while sticking to the Intel event, the company revealed that they have a 13th gen CPU that's set to be the world's first 6 GHz CPU. Now, they didn't give us too much information other than it's coming next year, but this is almost certainly a new special edition 13,900KS. And get this, a benchmark is already leaked to the CPU on Billy Billy. As you can see, it's of a CPU Z test, and it got a single core score of 983 and a very impressive multi core score of 18,000. 1453. As you can see, compared to leaks of the 13900K, the 6 GHz model does get a decent uplift in performance, especially in multi-core. At the end of the day, this will likely come with a big premium over the 13900K, so it likely won't be worth it for most users, but it's still a very impressive feat. Lastly for today, while Intel revealed a lot of new hardware at their innovation event, they actually showed something off that they didn't mean to. The story comes from Tom's Hardware, who found a full wafer of Raptor Lake dies being shown off. What's wild is that the wafer contains 34 core Raptor Lake processors, and these aren't just regular 34 core parts. These appear to be 34 P cores, meaning no clusters of efficiency cores. Even more confusing, it was connected with a mesh instead of a ring bus at the current 13th gen part use. Tom's hardware speculated that it may just be Ice Lake, but the staff at the event proved that it was in fact Raptor Lake S, though it's too big to fit into a regular LGA 1700 socket. That likely means these are upcoming workstation CPUs set to compete with AMD's Threadripper lineup. Let's just say, I'm excited. And don't forget to grab your vehicle and own the seas, land, or air with War Thunder today. Just visit the link in the description to get your free bonus pack. So while that does it for today, what are you most excited about from that Intel event? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.